is Trey Sermon. Yes, I said it. Trey Sermon. Now, listen, the reason why I'm taking Trey Sermon is, guys, for the potential of a Kyle Shanahan running back of uh, backfield. You know, when he drafted a guy in the third round, second round, this guy can get some work. He could be the next Terrell Davis. I'm not saying he's Terrell Davis, but the, for the draft capital, nobody was on nobody was on him. A lot of people, yeah, they like Trey Sherman, but the only reason why they like him because they know he could go to Kyle Shannon. It was possible. They know that late running backs now can hit. But before Kyle, uh, big Mike Shanahan did it, nobody knew, like, okay, you a late round back because backs was heavily drafted in the first round then. But look what they do now. The same thing coming in fantasy. I'm the one of the first ones on it. Zero RB. Get your backs later because you can find great value. All running backs can play. There might be 10 running backs can play. You can get a guy in the later rounds. So target Trey Sermon because if he gets bell cow with this type of run scheme that Kyle Shanahan runs, this can be a top 10, top 24, who knows? But either way, if it don't hit, who cares? Because you're going you're gonna to get, you're going to go to the waiver wire, you're going to find somebody else, right? Because remember, you did zero RB. So Trey Sermon doesn't matter. And guys, I like the way Trey, Trey Sermon, he's not explosive or nothing. Terrell Davis ran a 4 6. But can you hit the hose? Do you run hard or you got great vision? And that's more, more important than any kind of physical attributes as far as speed and all that. You don't have to have speed at running back. You just need to be able to hit the hole and have a burst. Burst and speed is different. So I like Trey Sermon.